What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Thank you. Thank you. I'm using the headset today, which I really use, but I figure it's sitting here, I'll use it. Talk to y'all, because I'm going to be talking about a couple of things as we get down here. So, Saturday morning, I got to drop down in Yuma. And the reason this video is called The Good Days, well, I'll explain that more once we get rolling. Let's jump on inside. I was just giving y'all another look at the Western Star because even after all this time, I still like the look of her and she's doing great. Still young, obviously, but still doing great. Need to do some changes to her, but jump on inside here. System clear. Oh, and then a thing I noticed after doing the truck tour, which is why I need to stop just jumping in the trucks and actually get into them first, but I like the off the cuff stuff. Because that would have been a higher rating for it. You do actually have a cool cooling gauge right there underneath your RPMs and an oil pressure gauge right there underneath the speedometer. <laughs> Did not notice that till after I got that load with the truck tour and started running. And I was like, ah, okay. Well, that's embarrassing. That's all good. Let's fire it up. There we go. Gotta warm up here a little bit. I think it's 60 outside or 80. That. Oh, 76. So I'm not gonna like get too much. I'm gonna get like up to 80 while she warms up. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it shows you I'm still not used to it yet. Uh, go back to my trip right there. As you know, I'll go a few trip right there and watch the water thing right there. I don't think this has a yeah oil. like five minutes that'll get me where I want to be so do this paperwork well not really well more so update this log book do that then get rolling here like I said it's not due until 12 so I'm gonna leave around 5 30 ish a minute get down there and see what we can get coming back up because something's gonna happen next week the um when is Monday look at that now since I'm here Yeah, the 6th. So starting next week, I'm going to be doing something, and I'll explain that going along the way. But right, let me get this logbook set up. All right, I think the paper, no, well, the logbook I know is all done. Nice and warmed up, which I figured it would be. Like I guess you got five hours to get there, so let's roll. I believe we're going to... Uh, I got the paperwork right here. Rail export. Fun rail export, but... That's the fun of being with who I'm with now, so let's roll. Nope. Ain't talk to y'all in a minute about everything's going on now with everything. Because when I do the truck tours, I usually just try and stay focused on the truck and not what's happening everywhere else. So after that whole municipal waste thing, I told y'all I was coming home and chilling. I'm not chilling, but taking off for a little bit. And I did, I took a few days off. And um, now I'm with Bellflower, doing their, um, well actually let me rephrase that, which I'm going to talk about that too since we're here. With Bellflower, they're pretty much all food and everything, I've talked about that in another video, but pisses me off, which I called them about, which I'm going to check when we get down here and drop, and thankfully this is just a drop and hook. Um, every time I've been with Bellflower, for, I don't know, the last time I was Bell Flowers with it for a long time, same with this. I'm always in the food tank division. And I don't mind it, it pays great. But I know they have a reefer division, and they have a um, bulk feed, which I hate. I hate the bulk feed, like, legit. I think I said that in the video before when I was talking about Bell Flower. It is the worst pay per mile. Like, it is not great. Like, let me check something real quick. Sorry, I had to adjust the volume. I wasn't sure if you could hear me over the engine. But no, bulk feed with Bellflower is crap. Like, I think I showed it in the video before. I went from L.A. to, I want to say it was either Washington or Colorado. That joker paid, 
I think, twenty-some dollars a mile. That's ridiculous. Now, yes, I'm sure in reality people would love that, but on the game, when you get stuff like this, I think paying just for 600 miles. As a matter of fact, I'll show you when we get up here. But that was just bad. So, now don't get me wrong. I will do it if that's all they have and they need it and like I need to make that money that week. It just means I'm going to be running hard all week long. And that's more like the over the road division they need to call it. Because they say it's local. And it is, but I guess for me, what I'm trying to make, <laughs> that ain't going to do crap. Yeah, not what I'm trying to make. So, nope. Back to the title of the video, The Good Days. I enjoy days like these, which I always trying to get them on captures like this one on video and whatnot, because they don't happen that often. Well, I can swing by the house, load it, and then just deliver the day like it is the next day, and possibly, which I'm really looking to try and do. I'm not going to bobtail because going back from Yuma that little bit is like just too much and fuel to waste. But sometimes it works like that. Well, I can just while well, I'm delivering right around the house and bobtail home. So I enjoy good days like these. That's why I call these the good days. Well, I can be coming home like I was home since yesterday, since 3. And that was nice. Coming from Sacramento, stopped at the house like I did, and here I am now. Hey, down to Yuma just to finish up. And I, want, I always like to put these on videos because you just don't see people talk about this. Everybody, and I mean, you do you. I understand. It's a game. And it's supposed to be fun and all that. Not that no, trust me, I know nobody puts as much into it that I put into it. But there are certain feelings that you just can't simulate. That's why I did an episode called The Feelings, and that got a lot of views, which, thank y'all, I wasn't expecting that. I was just putting it out there, like, 90% of my videos just to put something out there that's in my mind, you know? But I'm not big on look at my truck, do all this, all mods. I'm not, that's not me. I'm, <laughs> as you see, I'm perfectly fine with the SCS stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I do do modded trucks which I call leased trucks I've done a few videos on that you can see but I just don't do that I'm um, SCS has done a great job with it I don't really feel much more needs to be added on especially if it's not SCS or proven certified for the game which you can crash the system and stuff like that which has happened on my older computer which I think over the years of doing it so much and not realizing how bad that can damage it is what screwed up the RAM but now I'm rambling. But no, like I said, I enjoy the good days like this. And I'm not... I was going to say, I guess not harping on anybody who doesn't understand. That's fine. It's more of a driver thing if you don't know. But that's why I try and get these type of days on film. Because they don't happen that often. Even with a title like Home Daily, you would think it would. But as you've seen through the entire series... It... Besides Bellflower and P. Flipson, Home Daily doesn't happen as much as I would like because you gotta make the money and stuff. And yeah, now I love the title. That's why the title is not going away because it's a great title. But the concept just isn't there like I would hope when I originally saw this years ago. But I'm still sticking with it because I can still get my Home Daily loads. That's why I have leases that are local and Home Daily like. He flips it for example. Now this time it wasn't. I took one of the over the road ones because I started Wednesday. It kind of messed me up. So I was like, well, just to try and get something in for the week, a good amount. I'll go ahead and do a couple over the roads divisions. I started off in the local. I went to Bakersfield and um, I think right back down. To, no, Bakersfield. Then I went to Fresno. Then from Fresno I went to Sacramento. And now this is where I'm at now. And you gotta know how to make money sometimes. Can't always be exactly what you want. Yeah, there we go. Come on over here. There we go. So, what's coming up next week? I said I was gonna talk to y'all about that. What's happening in the sixth? SES has now another event out the Valentine's Day event. And, considering Delphi wasn't what my plan least was for all that, like I was supposed to be with Municipal Waste in 4-2 print, but after doing that Municipal Waste, that just took so long, I said I'm going to be trying local, stay around that, that's why I'm with Bellflower now for this week, 
And then next week, since this uh, world we've been struck, which I call, which you'll probably hear me if I do a video about it, special contracts, not special transport. Don't get confused. Um, I'm gonna be doing that probably all the next week, probably because the sixth to the tenth. That's five days. And according to the rules, you don't need a minimum mileage. So I think my planning for that is I'm gonna um, jump into a day cab, which I need to actually look into getting another XL one. I only have one day cab right now. Yeah, I think so. Black and green. Yeah. Because I got three XL trucks, but only one's a day cab, so I'll look into a day cab. But anyway, no. Get in black and green and do the Valentine's Day event. I might go live one day just to show you what it's about and everything else like that, but that's the plan for all next week to the 10th. And then after the 10th, because I'm hoping to be home by the 10th, so probably starting the 13th. I may just follow what my plan the yearly thing was, which I have it right here, and jump to Camizo a little bit early. I was supposed to start with them the 16th of March, but I might jump to them a little bit early, or I might go to 42 Print since that was the original plan. It's supposed to be January until March. That municipal waste just took so long. So I don't know, it's a play by ear. But definitely next week is going to be the Valentine's Day event. Because I like events. Uh, come on now, I'm light. Yeah, I'm light. I'm not even 30,000. Whatever. Why are you going to let me over? Oh, thank you. Let's go real fast. There we go. Thank you. There you go. Why well, I get pulled, but well, there's no other truck. That would be why. That's a bus. No, nope, there's a truck right there. But he might have that weight pre pass thing. Well, I got it. Well, why'd I get pulled? Whatever. Like I say. Your reaction to stuff controls a lot about your day and how you feel, so I'm like, you know what, bump it, just keep moving. I get get on this scale, I'm not heavy, and I'm the truck is fairly new, I try and keep up on it, so when they're fairly new, so I shouldn't have no dude, there it is. I work I'll apply the tires. Apply the tires. Hey, well we got eighty eight miles, I was gonna wait, but between them not knowing how to merge up here, they always do this in Cali. I don't even think we're in Cali. I think we're getting through it still. No? Are we in Cali yet? Oh, I mean Arizona. Let's see. I want to say because I don't... Yeah, we're not in Arizona. So, yet, all Cali, which I figured. That's it. <laughs> you can even tell when you're in a different state just how they drive. But whatever. That's not why I jumped on here. Want to talk to y'all some happy stuff. I try and do this every now and then. What's trending? And I mean, like, happy trending. Not the... Oh, no. Bad, bad, bad. I, trust me, there's enough going on, and they'll slam down your throat all the bad stuff. So sometimes I like to get on here. I used to want to call it the X Talk, but that was such a short-lived thing. Production, anybody said, yeah, just let that go. Let that go. But I can still do the same concept, just add it to like a trending thing with the already happening home daily segments. So I'm gonna do that. What's trending today? And trust me, if you're wondering how I know, it's called Google. Like, if you just type in trending, they will bring up a million things. <laughs> a million things. Me today, though, I like a website called, I think, BuzzFeed. Uh, is that what it is? Oh, no, today.com. Yeah, that's a big one I like. Because it has more happy, not so much bad, and you should be scared of the world and stuff like that. So let's see what we got. I should try and get over first, but traffic's so bad, I'm not going nowhere. And it's going to kill my time a little bit, but oh well. Give y'all something to listen to, or at least talk about. Listen to me talking about, rather. Because <laughs> I'll show you right now, that's the whole reason they just do not know how to merge up here at all. So I think what I am going to do, what I do sometimes, just to be nice. I'm a throw it in gear, I'm a throw it in park, and just let them do their thing because they do not know how to merge. So, but no, back to what's trending today. Some happy news for you on this, for, on Saturday rather. 
Let's see. Shamar Moore takes his newborn newborn daughter to visit his mother's grave. Oh, miss you every day, Grandma Marilyn. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, and I'm I'm glad that popped up because I like Shamar Moore. Not as much as my wife does. Yeah, not that much. But I do like him because you never hear nothing bad about him. Like, I'm be honest. Before I started watching Criminal Minds years, years ago, I didn't even know who he was. I knew he was the brother of, um, like, the Tyler Perry movies, but it didn't register in my head that that's who he was until I watched him on Criminal Minds. So it's nice to see I like him like that because you never hear nothing bad. Like, he ain't robbing, doing stupid stuff. So, and I don't know why I'm going. I'm supposed to be like, you know what, I'm going to get over it. Okay, I installed out the truck. My bad. Get over it. Well, not yet. Oh, come on, truck. Come on, truck. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. Right, there you go. Hey, that's why I coasted with that because I didn't know if he was going to stop. So you always got to leave yourself an out. They obviously don't know how to drive a merge up here, which they never do. But it's okay. Nope. Back to what's trending today. I like that they put that in that because that's something nice. And it's nice to see his name whenever it's on the news like this associated with something good. I think the last time I saw him on anything trending wise, he just got, as you know, it was when he had his baby, which was nice. And I think when he was on that show, SWAT, I believe, I think that's the name. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. Once he left Criminal Minds, nothing against him. He's a great actor. I like him. I can say he's in it, I'll at least browse it to see what it's about. I think I watched one episode of SWAT, but the problem with that is. To me personally, Derek Morgan on Criminal Minds, I liked him, the character rather, because he had a purpose, he was driven, he was one of the, as you know, he was probably, no, nah, I'm sorry, I love Reed, <laughs> but um, he was definitely in the top three, and when he went to SWAT, I mean, I only watched the pilot episode when it came out years ago, but it seemed like his character there was more, and I understand you got to change up, have a range of emotions, stuff like that, I get that, can't be the same for everything, but that character just didn't fit my liking, nor did the entire show in general, so I didn't watch SWAT, I still like him, he's a good actor, like I said, if his name pops up, I'll at least entertain the idea to see what it is and what it's about, he's like a few other actors I would do the same with, so what else is trending, Carrie and Aiden kiss in new, and just like that photo, Shared by Je Sarah Jessica Parker. Alright, well, that doesn't appeal to me because I don't know who Carrie and Aiden are. I mean, there's something for you, but I mean, me plus I, I get why because they're celebrities and you want to know every little detail about their life. But that's just the. I mean, I'm glad it's happy. That was the point. I'm just kind of reading down the list going down the road. But, um, nah, I don't care about y'all kissing. You do you. Anyone deserves love. Everyone deserves love. So let's see what else we got. Patrick Mahomes' mom cheers him on before Super Bowl with sweet throwback photo. I'm glad he's going. I don't know something about Patrick. Is it Mahomes or Mahomes? I don't listen to the sportcast things, so I should probably know by now. But either way, I like. Uh, I put it like this: the game I saw when he was against someone. I don't know. I'm not the best on keeping up with sports. Not to mention um, they're not my team. I'm a Steelers fan. But um, I do like him though to a sense that a lot of stuff associated with him is in a good light. Not a lot of bad or a lot of this and that. <laughs> I'm like I know this is showing my age but RG3 back in the day when his name was everywhere and now he's forgotten about, not talked about between getting hurt and everything else like that. So it's just I like it when I see his name on and stuff with sports, because to me, kind of like when I do the trending things like I am now, it just brings a good, happy feeling, if you will. So, that's my opinion anyway. Oh, this ain't happy, but I mean, it's interesting. A missing New Jersey teacher found dead in shallow grave. That's, that's, oh, uh, that, that screwed up this whole happy thing I was just reading. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's not happy, obviously. I'm sorry, T's and P's for the family. That's horrible. And 
just shows you how screwed up this world is. I mean, a teacher? She already got to deal with kids every day. But, anyway, I'm going to keep in mind to read these before I say them and just not read them on the list now, because I'm trying to keep it a happy thing, so. That's kind of happy, which is good for it. Vanessa Hudgens announces engagement to baseball player Cole Tucker. Which is good. Hey, happy for it. Be fair, I always thought she was married. I don't keep track of so Let's be honest. One thing, like if I ever became a celebrity, and I know it's really impossible to do, but I, that would be like one of my top three things to try and keep in mind. Let's be honest, if you're a celebrity getting all that money, a lot of stuff goes out the window, which I'm sure why they don't care. But when you're a celebrity, you don't really get a private life. You can have a private life, but like every little thing you do, they're so eager to read and capture and everything else. And I just, that's why I've never wanted to be a celebrity. Don't get me wrong, I'd love that celebrity money, but that kind of publicity and not having a private life and stuff like that is just not something I would want for me or my family. We almost here, so I think I will conclude that what's trending for this episode. But trust me, there's so much out there I could go on and on. I could make a whole episode about that, but that wasn't for today. This was just to get give you some talking going down since I pretty much covered everything I wanted to within the first thirty miles. But I still want to get out with y'all, talk with y'all, so we could do another what's trending. Let's see. If this truck would come, there we go. That's what we can get. We gotta kick it a little bit hard. Just enough to get in front of this van so they'll let us go. Arizona State Line, baby! We are in Arizona now, which is so sad. Well, not sad, I mean, I guess it's kind of a good thing. Because you're in the line, you're waiting human now, and literally probably like four minutes, eight, eight minutes, and you'll be dropped or delivered, depending on what you're doing if you're coming into Arizona. But you yeah, hey, then, and if you're going right back up, like I'm trying to do, you'll be out of Cal, you'll be back in Cali. So, I mean, yeah, you can say you ain't in Arizona. Not long, or deep, in any kind of way. Wow, that's a high over there. One thing I might do to this truck, which I'm um sit down one day and plan and figure out how much it would cost and work toward get that, is upgrade the transmission. Because I love the 10-speed, and when I got it, that's because I know 10-speed is one of my favorites. And I um, mean, it was cheap at the time. <laughs> So, but I will probably get a 13 or 18 in this truck, and I'm leaning more towards a 13, just because 18 seems unnecessary to lower gears, because this ain't a heavy truck, like a heavy haul truck of mine, so I won't be using the lower gears for the, like, too high and all that, so it just seems like an over cost for something that won't be needed, you know, whereas a 13, the higher upper gears, I'll use them more often for my regular dry van type loads like this which this ain't a dry van but you know what I mean yeah. there we go and VLX Ford is right up here to the left and, I, and that's not from the map I've been here so many times I know hey that's the fun when you try and stay local or at least within enough to get back home that's one of the concepts I love about home daily I go to so many different places so much I don't even look at the map, really. I mean, I just keep it on, just because it's like a... Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, is it that fun back? Oh, uh, yeah, awesome. Okay. But now it's kind of like when you have something, you could use it, but you don't need to use it. That type of thing. And I just keep it up just to have as a reference, just in case. And I'm a little overly on the driver's side, but I can counterbalance it as I get back here. Flashes on. 
Got to blow my horn, but that's okay. They weren't paying attention, and I'm a big behind red trucks, so if they wanted to walk out over there, you know, that's just that higher power saying this is your time. And keep back in, get a get him. Easy. Easy. And still got him. Still got it. In the space over there. Still got it. And crank it, crank it, crank it. There we go. There we go. There we go. We should be pretty good. Yeah, I'm about to pull up because I knew that. That's okay. That was the point. So get it there. Place. Now, sometimes they will have a trailer here, which makes it a little more complicated. But again, like I've said probably many times in a lot of my videos, when it comes to back end, a don't rush. Don't need to rush. B, be aware of all your surroundings and all your spots. And C, take your time. Which I know goes the same with um, don't rush, but it's true. <laughs> you don't need to be flying into back. And this is for the people that actually back, which kills me sometimes. So many people just want to hit that automatic button they give on here, which I get. I can understand because not everyone can sit here and do like this or have the patience to sit here and back in and get it just right. But, I, like I said, this game's been out since 2016. I've hit that button on here, this one right there, maybe twice. And I know if I did, it's with a special cargo, like a special transport, not a um, special cargo, a special transport load. That once I got everything in there, they didn't want counting because the, maybe the tail end was out and everything. And that's when I'm like, okay, you know what, bump y'all. Because you can't back them. You can't maneuver them after that, really, sometimes. So I'm like, you know what, bump it. Y'all going to take it like it is right here. But in this situation, this is an easy... Okay, I take that back. It's not an easy back if you don't know how to back. But as you see, once you get it and do it enough times and get used to it, there was no headache. Not at all. And I still think I'm in one time. Yep, I still got a little bit of time. But it's a dropping hook, so... <laughs> it's not like I got to get unloaded or nothing all I gotta do is drop here and there you go and gotta wait for them to unload me or nothing excellent which I love seeing that which is so weird I've done this so long I shouldn't but it's just that sense of achievement you know you did it you did it properly you did it right and you got your money through here all right let me do the paperwork walk up here check in and do all that stuff okay uh, paperwork's all done, law books all updated, if you will. Kinda. <laughs> yes, I fudged it, I don't care. Because technically speaking, not much. I mean, in reality, actually, actually, no, I didn't. Never mind. I thought I did. I'm so used to it, but nobody actually did for the right time. Okay, that works. <laughs> I'm dropping hooks. But nope. So let's look at the board, but I do want to check this um, trailer. Like I said, it was supposed to be there, because I called Bellflower. Wednesday when I left because I was just tired of the food tank division every time so I wanted the reefer and get trying to get on the reefer trailer so let's see no nope, that's mine so it's well you know what better they just go to their home base she got one yeah it's both key. Okay, I think I think she finally got it. Yeah, she, okay, yeah, because she took the food tank. Cause I, they said I was going to get one of her hoods. That was the first available one they'd have when she got back. So with that being in mind, and she's doing food tank now. Thank you. Get away from it. Nothing wrong with the food tank. It's a great run, but the problem is you got to do a lot of live loads with that one, which is fine, but it just sometimes be nice just to do a drop and hook for a little bit which I know you're probably thinking dude you're getting a reefer don't you have to live load that yeah but it's just something different don't hate the, don't hate the play in the game so so with that and that let's see that means right there no. up yep there you go they put my empty there cool good I'm glad cause I know sometimes they tell you how long it would take like if someone has it, I put a picture out there on somewhere one somewhere what was it Reddit? No, Facebook. I think it was either Reddit or Facebook. And they used to tell you like how long it was available. 
But I guess because I was already on a load and with the trailer at the time, they were just like, alright, well, it'll be there when she's done. So, just a little tidbit if anybody else watching plays this, something else to think about. Alright, let's see what they got. See what they got. Alright, so, uh, nope. I mean, that is a sister company, but Bellflower's food, so nope. Nope. Don't really have much. No, it's going to Santa Cruz. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, fuck this. All right, let's see. Freelancer. What they got? Yep, told you the things. Up and going hard. Your round times have been. I'm gonna start that come Monday. No. Yeah, Monday, yeah. <laughs> Anything. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, come Monday. So, let's see. Did y'all see anything? Because I ain't even seen nothing. Which is why I said I'm going to do this, because they kind of take over a lot. And each time there's a special contract like that, it takes over a lot. And, uh, well, maybe I'll call Bellflower, see if I can get a, um, Valentine's Day associate with them, because not all the time does it do like that or work like that. So, lie. And it is one of their associated things, so I think that would be acceptable with them. Yeah, because it's a real export to Kimzo. Mm, but it might be a Kimzo load, so I don't, I'm not going to look at that one too heavy. Yeah, that's kind of good. Huh. Food just ain't kicking today. That's funny when you have your own trailer. Or you have an empty trailer, rather. Yeah, Eddie, then. Well, I think what I'm going to do. I think. Because they don't have nothing here, and freight market is crap right now. I wish they had a refresh, but they don't. Check one more time. No, 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 no. We got the nuts to Santa Cruz. I know that's a given, but I wasn't trying to go that far. Oh, I'm trying to get home for the weekend. There's much left of it, because by the time I get back, it'll be just six to seven, but I'm going to take off Monday. So, what I think I'm going to do is um call about this. No, not that one. Not that one. Uh, not that one. Where was it? No, the nuts. No, that's not the one. Where was it? I know I saw it. Ooh, oh, that'd be awesome load if I was with Wilkes Livestock right now. But I'm not, so. Just awesome in the sense it would get me the ox line and live cattle, but I'm not with them now, so that's not it. Oh, yeah, and the lie. The lie. Mmm. You see, I could sit on this till Monday, but I don't want to. I got vegetables that's too far. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, no, Eddie's. Because where's my. I can't. Can I reach it? Yeah, but I know. I think Eddie's associated with him. Um. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm going to take, the waste paper, because going to Bakersfield, good lord, that's eight hours. I keep thinking I'm in San Diego. <laughs> I don't know, I'm in Yuma, Arizona. And if I did that, I'd have to deliver this one. See, if I could get, I'm going to call them. Yeah, I'm going to call them up. Call them up and see if I can take this, um... Um... Valentine's Day gift if they have association with um this special contract that's out for the entire industry. So now I just gotta find their number. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No, no. Oh, there it is. Just. <laughs> 
show y'all I'm not lying when I say this stuff. Alright, there you go. So I'll just talk on it from here. Ah, yes. This is X. I'm calling about a load I saw on your board. And I'm not sure if y'all associate it's a special contract. I know it's going out with the energy right now. Uh, load number is 366-457-12. Ah, yeah, a Valentine's Day gift load. Okay, I'll wait. Yeah, she said she had to check with her. Um... What is it called? The um, board dispatch and all that, just to see if that's something they're associated with. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so it is. So, what do I count that as? Do I still count that under y'all? Use y'all's um, authority number or no? Okay, so it's just use y'all's authority number. And still, my truck number and trailer number and everything else stays the same. Okay. okay. Hey, right, thank you very much. I right, have a good weekend now. Bye bye. Yeah, that was cool. Good to know. Okay. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take this load then. So she said she'll have me in the system in a minute for it. So I'm gonna grab that. Get over here to San Diego. And just bobtail. See, I don't mind bobtailing from San Diego to L.A. I mean, still more than I would like to, but it's gonna get me home. And it's at least get me home. Before fucking 9 o'clock tonight. So I still have some of the Saturday left. So, Alright, let me do this paperwork and then we will roll on over to San Diego. Okay, we here. Go check in, and I'll be back. Alright, they said it's over there. It's ready. It's good to go. Everything's good with it. What the heck? Is okay, so it was late then. What the rest? Um, and I figured it was this trail over here, but I wasn't sure. You never know. That's where you check in. Make sure everything's good to go before you just go hooking up the crap. You know. I was hoping to get something running back to LA and be done. Get that. But hey, you gotta know how to, as a driver, quick think, quick react, and choose the best thing, be the safe. And when you're a company owner like me, well, not really a company owner, more like managing just finances and stuff like that, you gotta know when to make the right calls for certain things to keep that bottom line still. A plus rather than a negative. Cause trust me, 
I remember back in 20, I want to say 19, a good majority of my months running out here were in the negatives. <laughs> Just because I was too busy leasing trucks on, they were messing up, it was a whole thing. So get out here, hook this chill up. Bam, 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 bam. The lights on, make sure the lights work around this tree, there we go. Everything good? Good to go? Alright then. Show y'all the map where we're going, because I'm going to stop the video now, because I feel I didn't talk to all years old, so. But nope. Like I said, a short little easy one, three, three hours, and that's why I picked it because I only have five left on my clock. So, yep, six rather. I only have six left on my clock, so this will still keep me legal underneath to get over here. And from here, I mean, I hate going empty from here. That's a lot of fuel bunt up. I already need fuel as it is. But I'll be legal, get my money, and from here I can just, because I own my own truck my time go off duty and just head to the house and be done so all right then well thanks for riding with me today i'm gonna stop the video here so i can just get home throw on some music enjoy the ride and like i said next week i may we'll see because i didn't <laughs> plan for this to be a special contract so that shows you how big and popular they are when they come around so um, I may record a little bit more into that, maybe not, we'll see, we will see, let's go over here, but we will see, but either way, you know I will talk to y'all next time, have a good one, enjoy your weekend this weekend, be safe out here.